It's week 10, and Cynthia is more than halfway through her green build. Today, Cynthia's windows are being installed. It's no surprise that they are as energy efficient as they can be. What makes these so green is the fact that these are double pane, low E windows. The manufacturer takes two panes and encapsulates argon gas in between those so that you've got like an insulation factor in between the windows. Although it's an uphill battle to receive a five-star rating, Wayne is determined to stay the course. I am not going to compromise anything green nor the quality of the house because we're trying to make up time. We are still staying within budget, and we're able to bring in all the green things. And we have set a goal to make this a five-star house, and we're going to stick with it. And speaking of sticking, the foam insulation is being sprayed in and on the house in week 12. It's the first part of a three-pronged approach Wayne is using to give Cynthia the most energy-efficient seal for her home. This is a soy-based foam insulation that we're spraying on. The advantage there is we're using a non-chemical or a less petroleum-based product. Therefore, it's going to be much better for indoor air quality. It's a water-based spray, and it expands to 100 times its size as it goes on. And this stuff expands so well that it has the tightest seal possible. Part two of the plan is to enclose the air ducts in the spray foam as well. There won't be as much temperature change between what's in the room and what's in the attic. The last piece of the puzzle is a metal roof. It's green not only because it reflects the Texas heat away from the house, but also because it's long lasting. Down here, shingle roofs last about 15 to 20 years, maybe, or what we say the first good hailstorm. With a metal roof, pretty much the lifetime of the building. You put on a metal roof, you can pretty much forget about it. With this type of system that we've got, the three-phase things that we're doing here, I expect to reduce a normal energy bill by at least 50%. I've already told the client that if uh, her electric bill's over $100, I'd like to know about it. With the building envelope officially sealed, work can begin on the interior of Cynthia's new home. Today, they're installing the cabinets in the kitchen and bathroom. In order to get their five-star rating, every element of the house, both inside and out, must be sustainably designed and built. This is an alder wood, and we're putting a clear, water-based lacquer finish on this wood. Therefore, you're not going to get any volatile organic compounds that are going to off-gas into the home. The walls are also getting a coat of low VOC paint. In using green products like these, Wayne ensures that the indoor air quality of Cynthia's home is and will remain healthy. And if this was smell vision you will notice that there's no odor with this paint. There's very little petroleum based in this paint, so that would make it a very, very green product. It's a week away from Cynthia's projected end date on this project, and the crew is feeling the pressure to get through the final stages. First, Cynthia's bamboo floor is going down in her crafting room. On-demand tankless water heaters are being set up both outside the house and directly under the kitchen sink. The on-demand heaters create instant hot water when the tap is turned on, saving homeowners both water and energy. Okay, let's go ahead and lay it down. The countertops are 95% recycled material. It's quartz that has been ground up, or when you're cutting quartz, it's the material that's left over. And it's put together with a resin polymer, and it's completely sealed and polished. And the advantage over an organic material is the fact that this does not require any sealing. You can go ahead and prepare food directly onto it, because there's nothing there that's going to allow uh, organic material to grow. And it's extremely durable. OK, now loosen up the ball. Outside, a local 4-H group has been enlisted to help Cynthia with her landscaping. Where does it go? It's going over here, Matthew. Actually, there's Xeriscaping deliberately using local drought tolerant and other native plants in order to use as little irrigation as possible. That's a pretty white rock. Okay. The great thing about working with this little crew here is that they work directly with the client and wanted to know some ideas about what she wanted in a garden, and whether she wanted like butterflies or did she want to attract birds. They were able to then pick the particular plants that fit that type of environmental draw. I'm gonna be as excited as them to see. It's week 16, and most of the work on Cynthia's house is complete, but they've still got one big green hoop to jump through. Today, John Umphreys of Austin Energy Green Building is back to evaluate the house. Wayne and Cynthia are shooting for the stars, five stars to be exact. Having a five-star house 
means that you have one of the more efficient, greener houses that are being built in the United States today. Well, one thing I like about this is you have these returns. So that's that's extra two points. Tell me about the paint. I like the colors. So what we recommend is that people put uh, timers for their operation. John takes notes on every green detail he sees, but it's going to take some time to analyze the figures and make his evaluation. He said we've got all the paperwork in, you've got to take it back to the office, but until I got the certificate in hand, I'm going to wait until I got that. <laughs> Coming up. Wow, this looks great. Have Wayne and Cynthia got what it takes for a five-star rating in the Lone Star State? We've followed everything that we need to. The points are there. Next on Greenovate.